Greetings. I'm the man behind the mask, and I'd like to talk to you about hockey. Yes, let's talk about hockey, the show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey from its disputed origins to the game we see today. Now, for those unfamiliar with the term hat trick in regards to ice hockey, this refers to one player scoring three goals during the course of one game. When this happens, fans reward the player by throwing hats down onto the ice. This act usually results in a break in the game to allow all the hats to be swept up from the rink. Though fans love it when a player is awarded a hat trick, many do not know how that term or the tradition of throwing hats got started. Truth be told, the origin of the hockey hat trick is still a bit of a mystery. Many think the term has its roots in the game of cricket, wherein a player who is able to take three wickets with consecutive balls is given a hat as a prize for their remarkable achievement. It is still customary today to give a cricket player a hat after such a performance, as it is not a common occurrence. However, this is not the only possible origin for the hockey hat trick. In Toronto in 1946, Chicago Blackhawks forward Alex Coletta was searching for a hat and approached local businessman Sammy Taft. Coletta didn't have enough money to purchase one, so Taft made him a deal. If Coletta scored three goals against the Toronto Maple Leafs that night, he would give him a free hat. Sure enough, Coletta scored four goals against the Leafs, and Taft made good on his offer. Another possible origin story comes from Guelph, Ontario in the 1950s. The Guelph Biltmore Mad Hatters of the Ontario Hockey Association, the farm team of the NHL's New York Rangers, were a team sponsored by Biltmore Hats, a local hat manufacturer. According to legend, the sponsor would give a brand new fedora to any Mad Hatters player who scored three goals in a game. It is also said that if the Biltmore Hats owner was at a game when a hat trick was scored by a member of his team, he would then throw his top hat onto the ice, a ritual that the fans quickly picked up on. Finally, the last possible tale to the start of this tradition comes from Montreal in the 1960s where the Henri Henri hat store was known to reward players with a free hat if they scored three goals or more in one game at the Montreal Forum. When looking at the origin of the hockey hat trick, a person will find not only hats are tossed onto the ice, but other objects as well. For example, it is customary for Florida Panthers fans to toss plastic rats onto the ice after a player scores three goals, which are then cleaned up by a man in an exterminator suit. This tradition began after Scott Mellenby, a forward on the Panthers team, killed a rat in the dressing room with his stick before a game. During the game when he used that same stick to score a hat trick, the announcers dubbed it a rat trick. Additionally, thanks to Detroit legend Gordie Howe, a variation of the hat trick emerged, whereby if a player scores a goal, gets an assist on a goal, and participates in a fight all within the same game, he has performed a Gordie Howe hat trick. Even though the origin of the hockey hat trick is still a bit of a mystery, the tradition is carried on at most stadiums across the U.S. and Canada. As for all of the hats, well, the player that scores the hat trick is usually given the hats, but if he does not want them, then they are given to charity or kept in a display case at the team's home arena. <laughs>